Good evening, Ovel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. people. Hello, everyone. Hello, Edwin. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Carlos. Hey, good evening, Ellen Nilsson. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you in the class again. Hope uh, you are ready to start and that you are uh, willing to do your best over here. Okay, I have uh, ladies over here. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Hope you're, you're okay. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Good to see you in the class. Well, we're going to start in a couple of minutes. Okay, let us let us quit a, a couple of minutes so that the rest of the students, of the participants, can um can get into the class. <laughs> How was your day? Good, bad, difficult, very difficult. It was fantastic. It was very good. Your day was great. Okay, my, my day was great also. You know, a lot of activities, but well, it's been a great day. So today is Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday, and we are just at the middle of, of the third week. Hey, so that means that we are uh, just um I'm waiting for the last week, right? It's been a great, a great experience, believe me. Okay. Um I can see Carla, and I know Carla, you're gonna be as a listener. It's all right. Don't worry, Carla. I I understand. Well. We're going to start. Okay, I have uh, seven people and it's really nice to go over the activity so that we can uh, do our best over here. Well, yesterday, we were talking about information questions and answers. Is that right? Yes or no? Was this our topic yesterday night? Yes. Yeah, so I can see that we were like, we, we were working yesterday night. You remember about this session, right? And you remember we were talking about, let me see. Uh, okay, over here. Remember that we were working about it? Now I can describe what duties I perform in my department and also about double H question, right? We we were just uh, having, um, uh, I mean, the conversation, okay? You change the first part and the last part and actually you created a new version of the conversation. Is that right? It is in that way, right? We can see it in the video. Okay, this is the the video number eleven. Okay, uh, where we studied information questions and also the way to answer them. So if you if you are uh, can help me with this part, it would be really nice. Okay, so that we can finish with it. Okay, and we're gonna make some time so that the rest of the participants can gather, okay? Now in here, we're gonna read some questions and we're gonna choose uh, the right double H question words. Okay, so for example, I have, do I get a newspaper at the shop? So do I get a newspaper? What would be like the double H questions to complete that question? It may be, what do I get a newspaper? When do I get a newspaper or where do I get a newspaper? Where? 
Ah, so it's about a place, right? Because over here is the key, right? Where can I get it? Ah, I can get it at the shop. So where it, it seems to be the best option here. Now, then we have, does the game start? And it says on Sunday. So where is the best where? option? When does the game start? When? Which does the game or why? When? When. When does the game start? It starts on Sunday. Okay, number three. Do you live here with... Do you live here with... My mother, uh, my, it says my brother. It may be, who do you live here with? Or what do you live here with? Or where do you live here with? Where's the best option? Who? Who? It's because we're talking about people, right? Number four, do you in the, in your, do you in your free time? Yes, sir. I play the guitar. Where? Where? Where do you in your free time? No. What do you? No. What do you in your what? free time? What do you? What in your free time? Okay. What do you in your free time? Actually, over here the question will be like, what do you do? What do you do? So we're missing that one. Uh, number four. Does she go to school? Does she go to school? And we have, how does she go to school? Which does she go to school? Or when does she go to school? How? How? How, how does she go to school? Okay. Well, did you solve it yesterday? Or maybe you did it tonight? I, I, I mean, today? If you haven't done it, done it now. Oh, do it now, sorry. No, okay. I have okay. Where do I get a, where do I get a newspaper? When does the game start? Who do you live here with? What do you in your free time? What do you do in your free time? How does she go to school? And that's it, right? So we got we got a ten on here. Now tonight, so this was number eleven, right? Tonight we're supposed so we are in church of talking about how to use simple present information questions. So that means that we're gonna continue working with simple present, and we are gonna continue working with information questions. Okay, now, uh, do, do, do you have any homework? People? I didn't assign any homework yesterday, right? Did I? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go over the activities then. Now I didn't assign any homework yesterday night, right? So I said so Bill. Okay, Bill. So right, I can I can see your message. Okay, I can see Denise over here. I can see Juan Carlos. I can see uh, Lenilson. Let me see people chatting in says. Okay, well, I got it. Okay, actually we have 11 people connected and hopefully the rest of the people will gather into this lesson. Well, I will share the information I have here. And we're gonna start working. Over here, if I ask you this question, what will be what will be your answer, people? Where do you work? Now, 
Eh, Carlos Josué, where do you work? Carlos Josué. I'm work in Alcaldía Municipal de la Unión. Uh, I work at uh, the, the Mayer Hall, right? In San, Hall. Sal, in, the, in San Salvador, right? No, in La Unión. Uh, in La Unión. All right, very yeah. good. Now, what about... Okay, give me one second. What about Edwin? Edwin, where do you work? Uh, I work in uh, La Libertad. Are uh, you work in La Libertad? Yes. Okay, thank you. Daniel, where, where do you work, Daniel? I work in San Miguel. You work in San Miguel, all right. Esperanza, where do you work? Hello, Esperanza, where do you work? I work at San Salvador. You work in San Salvador, right? Yes. And the, Denise, where do you work, Denise? Ladies, where do you work? Hello, ladies. You work in Alcaldía La Unión también. Ah, es que estaba, yeah. está ocupada ahorita. Ah, okay. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, Carlos. She works yeah, okay. in the same place. Okay, sí. very, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> now, this is the first question, right? We encounter in this part. Where do you work? Okay. So last time we were talking about uh, just, uh, I mean, positive negative statements with simple present, um, just no questions with the simple present tense, uh, uh, daily routines, um, what's your typical quick like, etc. So we have been, um, we have been um, working with this topic for a long time, right? So, and we continue doing so. Okay, so uh, we continue with the information questions and we're going to learn how to use simple present information questions, okay? And I have the first questions here. What do I do? Where do you, where do you work? When do we go to meetings? How do, you, how do they plan the marketing? What time do you take the breakfast? And some possible answers, you see. What do you do? I supervise the production's workforce. This may be the answer for the first one. The next one, where do you work? I work in the accounting department. Number three, when do we go to the meetings? When do we go to meetings? The answer might be, we go to meetings uh, two times a week. And how do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer needs and I take breakfast. Now, this is the last one. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at eight. Now, uh, what time do you take breakfast, people? That's a good question, right? What time do you take breakfast, uh, Ovid? Hello, Ovid? He's busy. Ah, Ovid is busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ovid is busy. Okay, thank you. Um, Esperanza, what, what time do you take breakfast? I, I want uh, breakfast. Uh, 6 um, 13 a.m. At 6 30, 6 13 a.m. 6 13. Okay, Edwin, what time do you take breakfast? I time my breakfast is uh, 9 
I am. At 9 a.m. Very good. Yes. Daniel, what time do you take breakfast? Carlos Josue, what time do you take breakfast? Teacher, I take my bre breakfast at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay, yeah. Evelyn. Thank you, Carlo. Evelyn, what time do you take breakfast? Well, that will be that will be the second question. Okay? The first one, what where do you work? Second one. Second one. Well, uh, it may be what do you do? Hey, what do you do at work? That may be another question, right? Where do you work? When do you have meetings? Hey, do you have meetings? Yes, I do, or no, I or no, I don't. How do you plan the marketing or what time do you take breakfast? This is the one that I asked, right? And you already answered that. Okay, double H questions we have is, what is this one? Double H question. What is the first double H question word? What? What? What is the second one? Where? What is the third one? When? What about the next? Who? How? Who How? How do? How to? And the last one? What? What time? What time okay. do? Yeah, what time? And now we we were working. I don't remember if we started with this, right? But it says I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Yeah, we did, right? So, what what was the answer over here, people? I mean, what, what, do you, what do you have to to do every Friday? What do you, what do you have to do every Friday? Okay, very good. Yesterday night we were working with this, right? Now I work in the blue building. What's it? What is the question? Where do you work? Where do you work? Marienda start working at ten p.m. What is the question? What time do do you start working? What time do you start working? Okay, very good. Number three, me, uh, Maria and I start working. Now that's that's. I'm sorry, that's not that. It is the next one, right? We design and and others create a new product. What do you do at work? What do you do at work? In the last one, they have a meeting because uh, we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Why do you? They have a meeting. When do they have a meeting? Yes. When do they have a meeting? Okay. When do they have a meeting? Okay. What's the meaning of the word inflows and outflows, people? Give me the answer, please, or provide the provide some e, some feedback about this vocabulary. Meaning, please. What's the meaning? Inflows in Spanish and outflows in Spanish. Entradas y salidas. All right. So inflows and outflows. Uh, what is the job this person uh, is practicing, people? What do, you, what do you think is the, the occupation, this person? Uh, I, I, I mean, the, the person's occupation. What do you think is the person's occupation or the person's profession? Where is the profession? He says, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. What's the profession? What is the profession, people? No idea? Think about it. What no, about this? Uh, yeah, tell me. What is the profession? Which? Yeah, I mean, the last one. It says, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. What, what would be like the profession? A manager. Ah, it may be a manager. A manager is in charge about inflows and outflows? Yes. 
Okay, so. Or yeah. recursos humanos. Recursos humanos. How do you say recursos humanos in English? I don't. I know. I don't know. You don't remember? Why I don't do, know what you say. Why don't you look for that uh, expression in the internet now? Look for it, you, please. You, human re resources. Uh, human resource. Resource. I think we, we studied that previously, right? Let me see if we can get it. Human resource specialist, right? So here. Okay. Well. So actually, we created all the questions yesterday, right? We, cre we created the questions, okay? So this is a review. We also created a double edge question. And you created not only one, but you created three, the three of them. Can you ask the question with what people? Yes, teacher. What are they planning? Hey, where are they what, planning? What do you mean? What do you mean? All right. Hey, what do you mean? And we we'll say that. Hey, what do you mean? What do you need? What do you what do you mean by that? Okay. What, what are you what are you taking? What are you taking? Or thinking? Okay. Uh, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Okay, very good. So then we have three questions there. What about with when? When your questions with when? When does the airplane take off? When does the airplane take off? Okay. That's the when, first one. When will be the next interview? Interview? Interview. When interview. Yeah, maybe hey, when's the job interview? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Number two. Number three. When are you leaving? Hey, when are you leaving? Oh, when are you leaving? Okay. Quite when you good. can see. When you can see. When can you see it? When can you yeah. see it? Okay. Now, uh, what about with where? Where? Where how you you been? Where have you been? Hey, where have you been? Okay. I think you have where? investigated it. Where have you been? Okay, number two. Where where are we going? Where are we going? Number three. Where are you from? Hey, where are you from? That's the easiest, right? Then we have a why. Where are you back? <laughs> book. Where are you book? Huh? Where are you book? No, I mean this is a why. Ah. Uh. Why? 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 Why are you are you here? Why? Why are, why are you happy? No. Hey, why are you happy? Why are you happy? What? Okay. Where are my butt? Is it where or why? Where Where are my butt? Okay, where are my bots? Okay, very good. But now we are we are uh, trying to create one with why. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Okay, and the last one, who? Who? Who are you go? Who are you gonna do that? Who are you gonna do that, Queens? Who are you gonna do that, Queens? Okay, number two. Who, who is the you? president of Brazil? Who's the president Brazil. of Brazil? Yep. yep. Who called you? Who called you? Hey, who called you? Who called you? Okay, very good. So it, it tells me, this exercise tells me that you have been practicing and that you have been investigating. Okay, yesterday we, we created this role play. And also, this is the conversation we started with yesterday, right? Now, let us identify some things here.
Okay, let's identify, uh, for example, uh, the teens. Where is the simple present tense over here, people? The structures. For example, in, uh, the, the part Kim says uh, has a simple present tense. Is that right? Yeah, teens. I'm talking now. I'm talking about the teens. Vamos a hablar del tiempo en que se está desarrollando la conversación. For example, in the first question, Kevin says something here. What do you have to do on Thursday? What what is this tense, people? What do you have to do? What do you have to do on Thursday? What is the structure? Yesterday I told you, right? About the very half. Do you remember about the very half? Ah. Yes, sir. Yeah, how do you conjugate the verb have in simple present? I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, you have, and they have. But when we have it in the negative form or in the questions, so we need to use the auxiliary, right? So this is the auxiliary for simple present. So the, the first question is in simple present. Hey, what do you what do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for a new product and write about and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does, look, what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure what time does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have a free time? Okay, so we were discussing about it. We also um, hey, were discussing about some, some expressions, etc. right? So now over here, read the conversation again and circle the correct word in both. Now, I will mention, or I will ask individually in the group, for example, I have uh, I have Julio Cesar. Hey Julio, let me know about the answer here. Can you help me please to solve this yes. exercise? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, what What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Hey, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? What does? Okay, very good. Because if we say what do Albert, well, we are forgetting about third person singular. Okay, type it, please, people. Type it. Digítenlo en el chat, por favor. Así lo puedo lo puedo dejar plasmado acá. Please do me the favor to type it in the chat. No one? Well. Yes, he may... solo, solo que no encuentro la, la interrogante para obtenerla. Ah, oh, okay. So, <laughs> you are uh, struggling with the, the with the keyboard. 
Hey, how do you say teclado in English, people? How do you say teclado in English? Table. Uh, ta table? No, I mean teclado. Ta keyboard. Uh, so it's keyboard. Keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. Yeah, that's a keyboard. Okay, let me see. Is there anybody in the in the chat providing the answer? No puedo sacar la, 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 el signo de interrogación. No, you can't. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can then. Okay, copy it from the chat. Edwin. Okay, teacher. Okay, there you are in the chat. You have the, the question mark in the chat. In the chat. Ready, teacher. Okay, it says, what does Albert have to do? Okay. I will take, I will copy it and I will paste it over here. What does Albert? Eh, me faltó una letra. <laughs> third day. What does Albert have to do on third Thursday? Thursday. Yes. Why is missing, right? Why? Yes. Yeah. What does he have to do on? Okay. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Okay. Or you can say if it is a a, a subject pronoun, what you say? What does he have to do on Thursday? Very good. Now, number two. Why do Kevin need help? Or why does Kevin need help? Type it in the chat, please. Why does Kevin need help? Okay, could, could you please type it in the chat? Okay, teacher. Okay, now I got the answer in the chat. It says, wait, okay. okay. Esperanza did it. Let me see. Thank you, Esperanza. Thank you. Hey, why does Kevin need help? Why does Kevin need help? Pretty good. Number three, who helped me with number three? Who do or who does you think is going to help Kevin? Type it in the chat, please. Yeah, Evelyn, that's the way it is, Evelyn. Now, let's work in the number two. Uh, uh, no, in the number three, please. Uh, oh, I need to see the answer in the chat. I need to see the answer in the chat. Esperanza did it. Who does you think is going to help? And Edwin type, who do you think? Okay, the correct answer is Edwin's. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Good. Now we got this, right? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Number four, what do or does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Type it in the chat. Type it in the chat, people. Is there anybody who's typing now?
Ready, teacher? Okay, Edwin did it. Why does Mr. Reese do on third? Uh, okay, there is something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, and also Evelyn did it. Very good, Evelyn. Evelyn, Edwin. Okay, let me see. This is your answer. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Thursday. The S is missing here. Thursday, right? Okay, very good. So I think it's really nice because you don't commit. Almost. You did it. Oh, uh, you did all of the exercises in the right way. Well, did you finish? Remember, you need to be you need to keep working in your in your in your document. Recuérdense que eso hay que irlo trabajando en el documento que que cada quien tiene. Did you finish? Ya habían terminado, jóvenes? Yes, teacher. Ya lo tiene, ya tiene todos los ejercicios. Ok, resueltos. Ok. So, over here is our real topic, right? A, a part in which we are going to be uh, told about the way to use Double H question words. Okay, and it says like this. Where do you work? How do you simple present information questions? Now, information questions. Can somebody read the first part? Me pueden ayudar a leer esto? What does he do on Saturday and Sunday? Okay, now that is fantastic. Okay, so but why don't we uh, create like uh, the intonation of a question? Say, what does she do? What does she do on Saturday or on Sunday and Sunday? What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? So that would be like the right intonation. Who can help me with the number two? Where does where where does he go on Thursday afternoon? Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? Where does he go? Okay, remember that in this case, you need to blend sounds, right? Who can help me with number three? Which parent does or bus super supervise supervise? Which department? Okay, remember about the pronunciation. Which? Which? Which, which department? Which department? Which department does which our bot supervise? Which department does our bot supervise? Okay. And the next one or the last one, what time? What time does we get started work? Can somebody read it? What time does Miguel start to work? All right. So that, that sounds better. And let me see. We have questions also. I mean, we have answer to those questions, right? So the first one, what does, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? She... She visits other companies and has meetings. Let's go over the next one. Where does it go on Tuesdays afternoon? Who, who reads me the answer? He goes to the company's headquarters. Okay, headquarters. What's the meaning of that expression? 
Headquarters. Headquarters. Look for it in the internet. So that you can get it. Uh huh. Proceder. Headquarters. What is it? Como ceder. Mm, not exactly. It's about sedes, right? Headquarters. Sedes. Yeah, sedes. Headquarters. In number four. Let us practice a little bit, please. Our, 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 our bus. Our bar. Our yeah. boss. Our boss. Our boss. Super supervis, supervisors, market, supervisors, the marketing department. Excellent. And the last one. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. So I hopefully you get my point, right? Because so here we were talking also about questions, okay? And over here, we continue talking about questions. You know why do we see it that way? Because people, oh, I mean, the program wants you to um, take advantage of every single uh, course. Now here, you're gonna create questions, okay? You have four minutes. Now, after that, let me see, we should progress payments. Okay. Do me the favor to create the questions. Okay, I will. I will. Me voy a quedar calladito. Solo voy a estar viendo el chat. Cuando alguien tenga la primera, al no más ver yo la primera, yo la voy a copiar y la voy a pegar acá. Okay. Pero me voy a quedar calladito. Solo quiero ver cómo están trabajando. Okay. Recuerden, cuando usted tenga la primera, la digita rápido en el chat. Okay, the first one is dot. Why does he have a meeting? Okay, number two, people. Type it in the chat, please. Okay, number two is done. What about number three? Let me see the chat. Now, number three. Number three.
Excellent. Number three is done. Very good. Number one, why does he have a meeting? Number two, where does she process the payments? Number three, hey, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Number four. Number four. Yeah, Esperanza, that's the way it is. Now number four, people. Okay, when does the employee when when does the employee acquire the raw uh, material? Uh, the, the raw material, right? So it's material over here. Very good. The raw material. Hey, what's the meaning of the word raw material, people? Raw material. What does it mean, raw, raw material? Look for it, please. Where is raw material? Materia. Materia prima. Okay, very good. So, you're, you, last time you told me the meaning of the word employee, right? What's the meaning? What does employee mean? Empleado. Yeah, that's right. So that's an employee. Okay, any question about this exercise? Any questions about the way, the way we use Information questions. What, when, when do we use what? When do we use what, people? When do we use it? Yes. Yeah, when do we use what? Yeah, when do we use, yeah, I mean, it's that's the meaning, right? But when do we use where? Donde. Okay, where, uh, what about which? What's the meaning of this expression, which? Por qué? Which? No. Juan. Juan. Okay, so very good. Now, what? We say, when you say por qué, right, that's why, right? This is por qué, right? Ah, uh, sí, sí. Yeah. Okay, and what about what time? ¿Qué, qué tiempo? Uh, that, that's the way we say it in Spanish. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's better, right? Que tiempo, no, we, we don't ask that way, right? Sí, excellent, correct. excellent, excellent people. I'm really glad that you are uh, doing your best effort here. It tell us about uh, creating questions, okay? And also about uh, creating a conversation, right? But in this case, gonna be with two partners, okay? About the daily activity at work and then ask questions uh, for extra information about someone else's activities. Okay, so what, what the book is asking us to do is to work in a conversation such as, hey, what do you do on weekdays? I started work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, then the person continues, right? Now, this is a, a big question. Can you ask questions about 
what someone does in his or her daily routine. Can you do it? This is the self assessment. Hey, what's the meaning of the expression self assessment, people? What does self assessment mean? What does self assessment mean? Ya dijimos que cada palabra importa, ¿verdad? Cada frase importa. ¿Qué significará self assessment? Autoevaluación. Ah, ok. So this is the your auto evaluations, your self assessment. Ok. ¿Están aprendiendo mucho, mucho vocabulario? Yes. Ok, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Que entre más vocabulario, uno que parezca que aunque no, aunque no se refiera directamente a la clase, pero si yo no me la sé, es como una monedita que me estoy encontrando en la clase. Y no monedita cualquiera, una moneda de plata. Self-assessment. Hay unas de oro que son más difíciles. Okay, now, uh, now I can ask questions about what someone does in his or her daily routine. ¿Podemos hacer eso, esto ahora, jóvenes? Hacer preguntas acerca de lo que alguien hace en su rutina diaria. ¿Podemos hacer esto? ¿Podemos hacer esto? ¿Lo logramos hacer ya? Hacer preguntas acerca de lo que hace alguien en su rutina diaria. Veamos, ¿qué pregunta le, le harían a una persona acerca de su rutina diaria? Ajá. I'm evaluating you. ¿Qué pregunta le hicieran? O sea, si ustedes se fijan acá arriba, en lo que hemos venido haciendo, no, hemos visto exagerada mucho, o sea, tenemos demasiados ejemplos, ¿ok? Con presente sí. Ahora, now I can ask questions about what someone does in his or daily routine. ¿Qué preguntas serían? Uh, what do you, what do you on, uh, on Sunday in the morning in the work? I, okay, so, but we'll see, what do you, give me one second, please. What do you, uh, Edwin, what do you say? Yes, what do you, um, um, Sunday, no, excuse me, what do you, um, Saturday in the morning in the work? In the morning? Uh, in the work. Okay. Now, do you think is that, is, is it correct? ¿Estará correcta esa, esa oración? ¿O habría que mejorarle algo? Uh -huh. What do you eat Saturday in the morning in the work? Is that correct? Está correcta la, la pregunta? On Saturday. Okay. Lo primero que vieron ahí ya es que se tienen que acordar que di dicen cuando vienen los días de la semana siempre va a ser on, on Saturday. Entonces este lo vamos a quitar. Ya vamos a ver cómo nos queda. Ok, aquí dijimos, what do you... Ok, pluralization. What do you in Saturday? ¿Qué es lo que sucede ahí? Con el ejercicio, con el ejemplo. What do you 
What do you in Saturday? Uh huh. Hello, are you there? Good evening, people. What do you? I will let you know about what's the problem here. And the day in Seria four. Let me see. Can you listen to me? Four. Yeah. For the more for the morning. What do you? I think there is a verb. Falta el verbo. So what is the verb? I think this is a mistake you are committing. What do you ah aquí hace falta algo hace falta el auxiliar do. yeah I mean not exactly the auxiliary but a very important uh, per what do you do on on Saturday ah and over here you have another problem right on on Saturday on people on what else can we be, can we help ¿Qué más podemos observar? what do you do on Saturday in the morning in the world so I mean this is the whole question right? It is only one question. So let me see. So it will be it will be almost time for you to produce something. Remember, I really love when my students produce some English. Okay. Well, then I think we are going. We, we're going to stop over here. We're going to go over this part. Let me see. Now it's better, right? What do you do? What do you do? On Saturday uh, in the morning? I think it will be enough, right? I think it will be enough that way. What do you do on Saturday in the morning? Okay, and that would be enough, okay? You, you don't need this part. No, okay. you don't need it. So what do you do on Saturday, on Saturday morning? So that's the best. That is the best option, I think. Now, in the next part, we continue with, where do you work? And we have this part. Here is where you're gonna work tonight. Okay, it says, as the classmate, the exact time he or she does some activities at work. And you will be able to ask for and say the time of activities at our workplace. Example, read Mrs. Uh, Robles' agenda and tell a partner at what time 
she does some activities. And we have the agenda, right? Ahora, esto es lo que ustedes van a trabajar. Vamos a trabajar de manera individual por el momento. Uh, van a colocar, van a hacer un cuadro parecido a esto. Solo lo único que, que va a pasar es que ustedes van a colocar su propia información. ¿Ok? Eh, de ahí nos lo van a presentar. Que es lo que hacen, por ejemplo, porque aquí este es un ejemplo. Ustedes pueden empezarlo a trabajar desde las seis de la mañana. Eso depende de usted, ¿verdad? Uh, meeting with the marketing department, 8.30, video call with the supervisor from the West Company. Number three, workshop to, to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process, etc. Right? So, esto es lo que necesito que ustedes me presenten. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a invertir en esto? Esto no creo que nos tardemos mucho. Vamos a invertir 15 minutos, ¿ok? 15 minutos en hacer un cuadro como esto. Y prepararse, por supuesto, a su presentación. Porque lo van a compartir y nos lo van a decir. ¿Ok? It's quite easy. It's, it's, no está difícil la actividad esta noche. ¿Ok? Pero necesitan estar concentrados. Esto está en la página 33. 33. Okay, here we go. Voy a dejar de, co de compartir. Creo que ustedes tienen el libro a la mano. La página 33. Did, did you get it? ¿Lo, ¿Lo tuvieron? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Ahora, este, eso lo toman como ejemplo. ¿verdad? Aquí arriba pone su nombre, su apellido, el título que les corresponde. En el caso de, por decirles, um, Julio. What is your occupation, Julio? Oh, uh, well, actually, you, you include it here, right? You, you write the agenda, my agenda, right? Y comienzan acá. Vale, los, los dejo trabajando. No vamos a, a, a hacer los grupos así por separado. Nos quedamos acá en, el, en un grupo general, ¿ok? 15 minutos. Al no más terminar los 15 minutos, voy a empezar a pedir voluntarios para que nos compartan lo que nos han hecho de su agenda diaria. ¿Ok? Now, 15 minutes, 15, 15 minutes a partir de este momento. Recuerden que van a compartir lo que han hecho. Eh, trabajenlo en un documento Word.
Okay, remember you need to practice all the information that you uh, type in the agenda. Okay, you need to provide a specific time, the activity you do. Okay, and explain us, explain it to us. Okay, five minutes more, five minutes.
Okay, I think time is enough. I will stop sharing. Yes, teacher. Time was enough, right? Okay, now it is your turn. Recuerden que van a compartir su agenda y nos la van a ir explicando. Ok, who starts? ¿Quién comienza? La compartimos en el chat, dicho. No, compartan la, este, la, lo que hicieron, el documento, el documento Word. Compartan pantalla. Ya les habilité para que puedan compartir. Okay, volunteer. Volunteer. Okay. Okay, who's sharing? Uh, Edwin is sharing, right? Edwin, could you please activate your your microphone? Hello, Edwin. We cannot listen to you. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, are you there? Ready, teacher. Okay. 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 Uh, I am supervisor. Um, seven, I am with, with the shipping department. Um, eight, half, we prepare with the work team to receive a container with, with raw material. The night I am the staff prepared to, re to review the mercancy receiving for the container. Uh, 12 launch with the work in the group. Uh, 1 45 we return the working again. The 50 the 5 55. Send tomorrow a schedule to Mr. Martinez, new secretary, and um, verify the depart, the departure time. Only teacher. Okay, now uh, the staff prepares uh, to review the merchandise received from the containers. Uh huh. Uh, what do you do at, at noon? At noon, Edwin. You know, at noon, right? Al mediodía, at noon. What do you do? Lunch with the working group? Yeah. All right. It's, it's okay, but listen carefully. Uh, remember, we're using uh, person simple. Then we will say, uh, I have lunch. I have lunch with my co workers, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah, I have lunch. And the other one, uh, okay, the first one at 9 a.m., the staff prepared, it's okay. 
The next one we return is all right. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Chet. Thank you. Okay, choose another person, Edwin. Uh, ladies. Okay. So that's ladies, right? Yes. But I don't know if. Hello, good evening, ladies. Eh, yo no tengo computadora, teacher, pero me lo escribí en el en una libreta. Ah, okay. No sé si lo puedo mencionar así. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay, okay. ladies. My agenda as management secretary is um, 8 o'clock a.m. Meeting with public service department. 8.30 a.m. Um, meeting with uh, public service supervisor. 10 o'clock a.m. Mail delivery to all departments. Um, Twelve. I eat lunch at my house. One o'clock p.m. Write a report on the meeting. Uh, 3 o'clock p.m. Deliver the report on the meeting to my immediate bus. That's all, teacher. Thank you, ladies. Thank you Thank very you. much. Uh, ladies, choose another person in the group, please. Excuse me, teacher. Can you choose a partner, uh, I mean, a, a participant, a classmate, so that he or she can continue? Okay. Henry? Okay. Rivas? Okay, Henry. It's your turn, Henry. Hello, Henry, are you there? Excellent, Henry. I'd like to share. Hello, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Hello, Henry. Do you listen to me? Okay. Me escucha. Yeah, I can listen to you perfectly. Can you okay. listen to me? Yes. Okay, so this is your time, Henry. Okay. Um, my agenda for a.m. I get up for 15 a.m. I get up. I get Maybe to go to, to, to work. 5 a.m. I go to work. Um, 7.25 a.m. Breakfast. 8 a.m. Start the working day. Uh, 9.15 a.m. Coordinator, coordinators mating. 11 a.m. Some mating to publish logistic. Uh, 12, 15 p, p, 
p.m. lunch. 1 p.m. operation team meeting. Um, and 3 p.m. in it. In it, yes. In it. No, no. In the initiative or project team meeting. Finish teacher. Okay, Henry. Now, uh, can, can I see above? Okay. Let me see everything there, Henry. Uh, something that you need to keep in mind is that you give me one second because I think you need to keep in mind that, for example, you say uh, at 8 a.m., you say start the working day. Now, then you say I start my day at 8 a.m. Okay. I oh, okay. I start my day oh. at seven twenty-five. For example, you say breakfast. It's seven twenty-five. Breakfast. No, you you have to provide complete sentences. Okay. You say I have breakfast at seven twenty-five. Okay. 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 You say a.m. or p.m. It all depends on you. Uh, it's the same happens with the operations team meeting. Uh -huh, but if say 1 p.m. operations team meeting, well, it seems as if it is something that's missing there. And it may be like, I have operations team meetings at 1 p.m. So it will be better. Okay. Thank you, Henry. Thank you very much. Okay, choose another person, Henry. Um, Evelyn, okay. Evelyn Janira Maya. Thank you, Evelyn. Are you there? Hello, Evelyn. Hola. Okay, are you ready to start? Um, seven, my time, Star Wars. I work customer service for a telephone company. No sé cómo se dice servicio al cliente. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Disculpe. How did you get it? Servicio al cliente en una compañía telefónica. Oh, let me see. Customer service. Yeah, you may say customer service. It's because you can say client, right? But I think it's better to say customer service. Customer service. Customer service. It's better. Thank um, you, Edwin. Hey, teacher. Dos el lunch. Hey, igual, después siempre en servicio al cliente. Customer service. Customer service. Service, all right. Sería high work customer service for a telephone company. Exactly. Now, for example, what time what time do you have a, a breakfast, Evelyn? Perdón? What time do you have breakfast? No le comprendí, disculpe. Uh, what time do you uh, prepare your breakfast? Or what time do you have lunch? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, does a, um, does a lunch. As you say, then you say, I have lunch at noon. I have lunch not at noon. I have lunch at noon. What time do you have a dinner? Uh, 
you know, we have three meals, right? Tenemos tres comidas al día, el desayuno, el almuerzo y la cena. So, si, si, yo, si yo pregunto, what time do you have breakfast? ¿A qué horas tomas su, su desayuno? What time do you have breakfast? Uh, 7.30. Okay, so but tell me tell me complete sentence. I have breakfast at 7.30. I have... I have breakfast. I have... I have breakfast... Breakfast? At 7.30. 7 yeah. Okay. Okay, Evelyn, that's, that's really good. Is, that's it, Evelyn? Okay, Evelyn, do me the favor to choose another participant. Elija a alguien más del grupo, Evelyn, por favor. Obed? Well, Obed, que no participe en la fara, as I notice. Creo que Obed ahorita, pues solo lo tenemos de oyente, Evelyn. Can you please mention someone else? Um, Julio Cesar. Okay. Julio, are you there? Let's see. Let us try with Gabriela. Can you, are you there, Gabriela? Miss Guardado? Thank you, Evelyn. Gabriela, hello. Hello. Are you ready, Gabriela? Yes. Okay, so please go ahead. Can you see it? Sure. We can see it. My agenda. 8 a.m. I work with the retail link to Walmart. Um, 8.30 a.m. I schedule delivery appointments. Um, 10 a.m. I create opportunities to generate sales and 12 p.m. workshop lunch. And 3.40 p.m. I create opportunities to generate sales and 5 p.m. I save two documents and leave. And that's it. Okay, thank you. You were uh, you were at Walmart, right? Um, um yes. Yes, you were there. For, for the products. Okay. Eh, productos eh, de, de, de venta en Walmart. Okay. So, okay, you have a scheduled delivery appointment. Uh, create opportunities to generate sales, workshops, create opportunities, and save save the documents. With and, me. <laughs> and, yeah, that's right. So, so yeah, but that, that's all right. It's okay. So, uh, uh, what really matters is that you that you have a, a, a very clear idea about what to say whenever you are asked about your agenda. Thank you very much, Thank Gabriela. You. That was fantastic. Okay, let us see if there is anybody missing here. Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't heard Jessica. 
Hello, Jessica. Or Esperanza, sorry. Or es oh, you say Esperanza, okay. So Esperanza, are you there? So we're gonna listen to Esperanza and then we're gonna try to see what's coming uh, for, for tomorrow, okay? So Esperanza, are you there? Well, I can see. I don't see Esperanza here. Well, well, actually, you got your agenda, right? Well, Yeah, I think uh, well, this is, this is going to be developed for tomorrow, right? So here we're going to try to finish, okay, by solving this exercise. This exercise is about reading about her agenda. And it says meeting with the marketing department. At what time? 15 after, after 7 or a quarter after 7. Then after that, a video call with the supervisor from US company. So, but uh, over here we have expressions. We don't have complete sentences, right? We have fragments. We have incomplete. We, I mean, we don't have complete sentence. ¿Cómo completaríamos estas oraciones? Porque acá solo dice meeting with the marketing department. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sucede a las 7 y 15 para esta persona? Imaginemos que se llama... Ok, let's see. Imaginemos que se llama... Déjame un nombre. Anne. Vamos a ponerle Anne. This is Anne's agenda. Anne's agenda. Ok. What happens at 7.15? ¿Qué sucede a las 7.15 en la agenda de Anne? Uh, what I want you to use is, is the verb have or have people. Por eso estoy haciendo, les estoy preguntando eso. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Quiero que usen el verbo have. Ajá. She have a renew. Uh, ok. No, she have a meeting with the, the, with, with the marketing department. Ok, now let's see. She have, you said, right? She have. How? ¿Será que está bien así? Conjugado el, el verbo have. She has. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, eso quiero que, que se, lo, se lo guarde muy bien en su mente, en su, en su práctica diaria. She has. She has what? She has what, Edwin? She, she has meeting. She has a meeting. With the marketing department. With the marketing department, okay? Now, ahora. Let me see. Para comenzar la oración, vamos a decir la, la hora, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir at, para decir la hora, vamos a decir at 7.15 o a quarter after seven, she has a meeting with the marketing department. Y ahora sí. Para hacer, para hacer, para poner las ideas completas. At 7.15, she has a meeting with the marketing department. Veamos con la otra. 
uh, what happens or what's the activity she develops at 8.30 people? At 8.30, ¿quién me ayuda? At 8.30, ¿qué sucede a esa hora? Tiene una llamada. She has. Ah, uh, okay. She has. She has what? She has a. She has a. a video, video call. A video call. With a supervisor, supervisor from the West Company. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So that there. That's the next. What happens or what's the activity she develops at, at 9 p.m.? A las 9. Hello, hello. Can somebody help me with this, please? Workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Uh -huh. What happens at night, people? Hello, hello. Can you listen to me? At night. Okay, at night. At night. Mm. At nine. She has. She has. A workshop to the research. And you continue, right? To the research. And development department to improve it, the manufacturing process. Okay, thank you. What happens at at noon? At noon, at noon. You say at noon, you say noon means mediodía. At noon? At noon, 12. No, you say 11, only at 11. noon. At noon. Yeah, you, you just say at noon. You don't say at 12, okay? Okay, okay. At noon? He, he has. She has a workshop. Lunch. She has a workshop. A lunch. A, a lunch. Lunch. Okay, simple like that. Lunch. And then you... And, and that's it, right? So what I want you to do is to provide like a very clear ideas, right? When you when you speak, it's, it's because when you when you present your agenda, then you I mean it is it is presented in this way, right? But remember that when you explain the activities you develop, so you need you need to 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 say complete sentences, okay? Complete sentences. You don't you don't only say meeting with the marketing department. Yeah, but that's your agenda. But you you if you are the one in church presenting your agenda, you say, Well, it's okay, good evening, everyone. I will present my uh, my agenda. And let, let me tell you that at 7:15, I have a meeting in the marketing department because you know the the very half. Let me see. The verb have, el verbo have. ¿Se acuerdan cómo, cómo se conjuga el verbo have en presente simple? 
I have. Mm -hmm. Please continue. You have. He has. He has. He has. has. We has. We have. They have. You have. They, they have. have. Okay, so this is the way you conjugate this verb. Okay, so si usted está presentando su propia información, va a usar I have. Si se está presentando la información de él, va a decir he has. He has. Si está presentando información de ella, en el she caso has. hablamos de Anne, entonces por eso decíamos eh, she has, ok. You may say Anne has. Ok. Um, ahora aquí le voy a poner en negativo acá. He has, he. Miren cómo, cómo, cómo queda el verbo ahí. Espérame. Miren. O sea, en positivo, he has. Pero cuando lo decimos en negativo, he doesn't have. Oh. Regresa a su forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos este auxiliar. Si lo hacemos con she, sería lo mismo. She doesn't have. Con it, he doesn't have. ¿Ok? But when we have, for example, I have, I don't have. La forma negativa, I don't have. I don't have. We don't have. You don't have, they don't have. So that's in the negative form. Okay, now, well. Any questions about it? No. No, okay. So we're almost done, people, with this. With this session. I hope you have learned something, right? Tonight. Well, meanwhile, meanwhile, I check the list of tendons. Mientras yo paso la, la asistencia, ustedes completan el ejercicio 3 de la página 33. Y luego, si todavía tenemos espacio de tiempo, se van a los ejercicios de la plataforma. Okay, let me check. List attendance. <clears throat> okay, Carlos Josué. Hello, Carlos Josué. Denise. Edgardo Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Edgardo, thank you. Edwin Osvaldo. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson. I saw Ellen Nilsson there. He's a listener tonight. Esperanza. Evelyn. Present. Okay. Fatima Michel. Fatima.
Gabriela Jasmine. Present teacher. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Julio Cesar. I saw Carla over there. Ladies. Present teacher. Jose Luis. Oh, sorry. Luis Jose. Hey, Luis didn't get connected today. Well, that's queer. Luis Jose is always here. I'm sorry. Obed is over here. I saw Obed and he told us he is busy or he is in charge of doing something else. Obed, uh, Wendy Carolina, William Aristides. Jennifer Hernandez. Okay. Jessica Noemi. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, did you finish with this part? What time is the video call with the West Company? At a half a.m. Okay, the video call. Is at you say that the eight? Yeah, eight thirty, right? Yes. Eight thirty. And that's it. Period, right? Any question, teacher? Tell me. And and uh, uh thirty uh, is equal pro pronunciation half half yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah, when okay. talking when talking about when talking about the time, you can say so. Eight and a okay. half or thirty minutes after eight or eight thirty. It's all right. And and twenty. Uh... You may also say half past eight. Okay. Okay. Now, yes. what about? What about the second one? What time does the workshop with the with the research department start? The workshop. Mm -hmm. The no. research department. Um, with the research department the star is at nine o'clock pretty good starts at nine good now 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 you can see that you are providing complete ideas right and what time does the company close? The company close at 6 p.m. Now, the company close at... At, at 5.55. At 5 55 like that 555 yeah hey now listen carefully 
Over here is where you need to be careful. Si se fijan acá, usamos tercera persona con presente simple, miren. ¿Por qué? Porque hablamos del the research department. The workshop with the research department. Ahora, acá la compañía, the company closes or the company closes. Es tercera persona, eh, the company. Yes or no? La compañía, tercera persona. Yes, it is. The company closes. Company. Ya. Cierra a las 5 y 55. Vaya, entonces, a eso hay que tenerlo bien presente siempre. Si vamos a hablar, fíjense que ya tenemos que toda la semana prácticamente, bueno, desde la semana pasada creo que empezamos ya con presente simple. Ya pasó lunes, hoy martes, miércoles. Vamos a continuar todavía. Eh, esperamos o espero que pues nos vayamos eh, como les digo mentalizando que cada vez que tengamos presente simple utilicemos bien las terceras personas es nunca vamos a decir she don't eso no no, no está correcto she don't o with with doesn't no eso no no hay una manera de conjugar y lo otro también que los verbos hay que pronunciarlos bien hay que escribirlo bien cuando sea presente simple en tercera persona. Si digo cry en tercera persona sería cries. Si yo digo dry, dries. Dries. Clean, cleans. Cleans. Ajá, vaya. eso hay que tenerlo bien claro. Porque después vienen otras estructuras. Yo les decía la vez anterior que vienen otras estructuras en donde ustedes van a notar que tercera persona siempre va, siempre va a tener algo peculiar. Por ejemplo, hay un, hay un tema que se llama eh, presente perfecto. Entonces, en el presente perfecto ocupamos el verbo have, pero no como, como tal, no como verbo, sino como auxiliar. Entonces, ahí, si ustedes se dan cuenta, en tercera persona se convierte en has. Ya no es have. I have, you have, he has, etc. Y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? En el verbo be, por ejemplo, I am, you are, cuando llegamos a tercera persona, he is, she is, it is. O sea, hay un cambio, ¿verdad? Y eso hay que tenerlo bien presente. No sé si hay alguna pregunta. ¿Algún comentario? Ok, Edwin. Ok. Ok, Edwin. It's all right. Recu Recuérdense que este, la asistencia es muy valiosa para nosotros porque este... De, si ustedes se fijan, eh, faltar a una clase eh, eh, prácticamente es perder dos horas significativas en donde nosotros practicamos eh, un tema, un tema en específico. Y ya luego, mmm, imagínense si perdemos unas dos clases, pues va a ser mucho más difícil volver a agarrar este, la secuencia de, de, las, de la sesión. Entonces les animo a que todos los días se conecten a la hora. Y pues que hagamos nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Quiero ver el chat. Ok. Ok, no hay comentarios. No comments. No questions. Si no hay, nos vemos. Let me see, Edwin. Ok, Edwin, it's all right. Ok, let us see tomorrow, people. It's been a pleasure once again, and I hope you you have a great day tomorrow. Espero que el día de mañana sea un día grandioso y que se lo pasen bien. Okay, y que me vengan contando que todo ha estado bien. Let's see tomorrow. See you 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 tomorrow. Hey, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, class.